Hello, my name is Adrian Shepherd, and we're now going to move on to the second part of looking at division in Key Stage 2. I have here the way of representing short division and the children would move on to that once we were certain, and they were too, of their understanding of the groups of and lots of concepts that we talked about in the previous clip. Um, what's significant here is that the children understand what's going on. This does not want to become a process. So please emphasize that with your children. Ask them how they are doing something, not just what. So here I am dividing 872 by four. And so I'm looking at how many fours fit into this number, how many lots of, how many groups of four will fit in. So what I'm asking myself to start with is how many fours fit into eight. But the important thing to emphasize with the children here is that that's 800. We must keep focusing on the place value. So two fours obviously fit into eight. But what I'm really saying is that 200, because of where this is, uh, fours fit into 800. I'm now looking at how many fours fit into seven, but really that's how many fours fit into 70. So I can see that one four does, um, but there is um, a remainder and I move that along now. Okay, so that was fours into 70, remember, and so this is really 10 because of its position on our, on our line, on our understanding of place value. So finally, I'm looking for the number of fours into 32, and I know that that is eight, and so my calculation is now complete. Now, irrespective of whether you're using the chunking method from the previous clip, or whether you're using short division, uh, which can then go on to long division and the recording below, um, children have to then be able to handle remainders that they may encounter. If I give you an example, so if we take a simple calculation, just to make it easier for us right now, of uh, 87 divided by seven, then I, can, I know now, and the children would quickly see as they use whichever method was appropriate, that there's going to be a remainder left here. So if I use chunking briefly, 87, I straight away know that 10 lots of seven, 10 groups of seven make 70. So I'll take that away, leaving me with 17. Two 14s I know, sorry, two sevens I know are 14. I'll take that off next. And that leaves me with a remainder of three. So I use 10 lots here and I use two lots here. So I have 12 lots of seven fitting into 87, but I've got this remainder here of three. Now, as the children move through key stage two, they'll go from recording that as R3, remainder three, to looking at it as a fraction, in which case this would be three sevenths. They might convert that to a decimal, but also they're gonna to have to think about the context of the question. If the question's asking about how many tents are needed, for example, for a, a school trip away, then obviously we can't have three children outside um, at night, and so we'd need an extra tent. So there are times, depending on the question, where the child not only has to work out that there is a remainder, but they have to work out whether to round up or down. And at all times, they should also be thinking about whether they need to write anything in the first place. It's really important that the children, first of all, look at the numbers involved and think about whether they can do that in their head or use a strategy they know. They might simply be able to halve the numbers and then halve again rather than divide by four. I hope that's of help to you when you're working at home with your children on division.